Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna add battery for our flashlight. So in the last uh, episode, last tutorial that we did about flashlight, we left it undone. I mean, we did get a flashlight that we can see here. We press F, we have flashlight, we have sound, everything good, but it's permanent. So if you want to add battery, you are in the right place. So we're gonna add battery to our flashlight. This is how we did the flashlight in the first uh, tutorial. So, first what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the play sound 2D because we're gonna add it bef uh, after and we're gonna clean this mess, so we're gonna make it a little bit nicer so we can uh, navigate better. So we're gonna collapse this to the function. It's gonna be turn on flashlight. So this function, we're gonna use it for turning on our flashlight and the bottom one, we're gonna use this one to turn off the flashlight. So first thing that we want to do, we're going to remove the not boolean and we're going to check the condition here. We're going to pull it to the started. So last time we did it a little bit more different, but in this episode we're going to make it clean. So now we want to disconnect these nodes, delete them. So here, right now we are here. So, if the flashlight is active and we press F, we want to disable it. So, when the flashlight button is pressed, in our case it's F, uh, it's gonna say, okay, flashlight is active, what are we gonna do? We're gonna disable the flashlight, of course. So we're gonna call turn off flashlight. And after we turn off flashlight, we're gonna play sound 2D that we actually turned it off. So you can have a little bit of indicator, sound indicator. And from false, this means if the flashlight was not active, we're gonna turn it on. But before we do that, I want to create simple drain battery method that we're gonna use for our battery, so we can drain it. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna write custom event, we're gonna call it drain battery, or you can call it whatever you want. From here, we're gonna pull get flashlight active and from the drain battery we're gonna pull branch for the condition we're gonna check flashlight active so if the flashlight is active we're gonna set oh we need to create variable of course we need to create integer so we have we have full number and this is gonna be our battery so we're gonna get battery and from the get battery we want to um, we will compile it. We're gonna put it 100. Of course, you can put it whatever you want, but I think 100 is the best. So from the battery, when we turn on the flashlight, we can select how much battery we want to drain. So we're gonna subtract, and we're gonna put, in our case, 25 just for the sake of tutorial, but you can put whatever you want. And later on, we will add how much it's gonna, how long it's gonna tick B. So we can put tick for B like, uh, one second, 25, and uh, like we can put every two seconds, it removes 25, and etc. So from here, we go we're gonna set battery. So if the flashlight is active, we want to start draining our battery, and our battery is gonna be this volume, volume, and from there, we want to check if it's greater than zero. So if it's greater than zero, we're gonna pull the branch out of it. Make sure to connect this. And if it's bigger than zero, we're gonna start draining it. So we're gonna put delay. This is what I was talking about. Now you can select how long you want delay to be. So let's say I want delay to be every one second. And I gonna call the event drain battery. So this means everything is good. We have battery and we can start draining our battery. But if the state is false, we're just gonna simply turn off the flashlight. And now let's go back up. We're gonna, so flashlight, flashlight active is false. That means it's turned off. So now we need to turn it on. But now we want to check if we have enough battery to turn it on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check battery. We're gonna get battery. 
we're gonna check if it's greater than zero and if it's greater than zero we're gonna pull the branch we're gonna connect collect the connect the branch to the false and we're gonna simply turn on our flashlight after that we're gonna play sound to D and we're gonna start draining our battery because our battery is on we're gonna put our sound that we uploaded in the last video and this should be done so what we did here is basically when the flashlight is active it's gonna turn it off once we press F again and it's gonna play a little sound but if we don't have active flashlight the moment when we press it is gonna turn it on under one condition it's gonna turn the flashlight on if the value value is greater than zero so the value value is our battery that we set up here if it's greater than zero it's gonna turn on our flashlight and play the little sound and if it's not greater than zero then nothing is gonna happen and it's not gonna turn on our flashlight also what we did here is it's gonna drain our battery every second for 25 and the moment where it checks that we don't have battery anymore it's just gonna turn off so we can go go ahead and test it I will turn on my flashlight one two three four and we don't have flashlight and I'm spamming F to open it again and I cannot so that's it for this tutorial I'm gonna create more tutorials like a battery pickup and uh, maybe some hood but that's for the future I uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, I hope I was uh, clear about some things and uh, see you in the next one